Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range here today with heavy metal, and here in front of me we have my brand new Ruger American. This is in 7mm 08. Only reason I bought this one was because so many of you guys asked to see videos on 7mm 08. So, you guys asked for it. We went out and bought this one from Gun Prime. Found it there, and yeah, we're gonna get this sighted in. I've got a Nikon Pro Staff P5. I've had good luck with that in the past. And we're gonna get this thing sighted in and ready to go. I've got some 140 grain Remington Core Lock ammo. I know a lot of you guys like that stuff because you're always asking me to film it. We've got some for the 7mm 08, but I don't know much about 7mm 08 other than a bunch of you guys shoot it. And Google told me that it's a 308 neck down to a 7mm bullet. So. 308 case shooting a little bit skinnier bullet should be plenty enough to slap a deer but let's shoot some 7 millimeter 08 see what we think about it in my mind it should kick a little bit less than a 308 logically but I have no clue but let's get this thing sighted in and sling some bullets with it all right so I got three of these loaded up those Remington core locks Gonna sight it in about an inch and a half or two inches low at 10 yards like I do all my other rifles. Then we'll take some shots longer distance at some steel here. But first, let's take a shot here at 10 yards and see how this uh, scope is looking from me slapping it on last night at 3 in the morning. Two inches right. So, how many clickies we need on that? Um, let's go. Hit me a number. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do eleven. Six. Paul says six. We'll split the difference. Nine. All right. There's nine clicks. See if I went the right way. If that was nine, I think we need about 12 more. Yeah. There's 12. Man, the scope is good. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I hit the same hole, even though I clicked it a whole bunch. We need some more bullets. I know some of y'all right now are, are down in the comments telling me that I'm terrible at, uh, whoops, sighting in the rifles, but that's half the fun. So, we're going to blame that on the temperature and the uh, barometer and all the wind we got out here. You can see the wind just blowing these leaves out here. But uh, I'm gonna give it 10 more clicks and we'll see where it hits. Oh, it's to the right, we need to click left. There went 10 clicks. Here we go. I like this rifle and this scope though. And I actually torqued this with a torque wrench last night, believe it or not, so the scope's not off. Or loose, rather. Let's click it some more. Just a bunch. I didn't even count those. Let's do some more. And I'm going to give her about 15 down because I want it to be low at 10 yards. Let's see where this one hits. I got so many holes up there now, I'm not sure which one that was. Come left some more and down some more. 
and give it a tap. And we're going to shoot another one. Let's see where this one hits. Huh. We're still hitting in about around the same spot, aren't we? Yep. Tell you what, I'm gonna pause and put a new plate up there so we 100% know where the hits are going. Alright, let's sling some more bullets. Last time, I wanted to come down some more, so let's go ahead and click some down some more. Give it two more to the left. Let's see where this one hits. Remember, I'm wanting it to be about an inch and a half low in center. Look at there. First shot. Outstanding. Right where I want it. See, magic sauce. All y'all that don't think I know what I'm doing, there we go, man. Just pick some random numbers and she'll get there eventually. But, let's stretch out to some steel. Shoot some offhand. I think I got three more in this rifle. See if I can hit some steel with this thing. Alright, now I've got about a 10 inch plate down there at 55 yards. Uh, piece of steel from Primo Targets. See if I can hit that baby offhand. I ought to be able to. Give me some more zoom juice here. Oh yeah, good shot. This is a, a deer smacking machine. Tell you the truth, this kind of kicks like a BB gun. Compared to, I just shot a 7mm rim mag, so... 7mm 08 is nothing close to a 7mm Remington mag. This is probably a lot more like a 6.5 Creedmoor, as far as recoil goes. It hits good and solid, though. Yeah. That's what I read on the internet. If you're a sissy man and don't like to recoil, you like a 7mm 08. <laughs> Not much kick, but enough to take a deer. So, all y'all comment down below if you like 7mm 08. But, let's, uh... Let's shoot it left-handed just for giggles. See if we can do it. I don't know. I never shoot left-handed. That feels pretty weird. Hey, I can even hit it left-handed. Good shot. But hey, uh, in all seriousness, so I like the kid. But Ruger Americans, hey, Ruger Americans are good rifles. I think this is the fifth one I've bought. Yeah. Got a 308, 30 out 6, 450 Bushmaster, 65 Creedmoor, and now a 7mm 08. Hard to beat a Ruger American for the money. You know, they're pretty budget friendly. If you go look up the cheapest 7mm 08, this might be the cheapest one you can find. But, yeah, first impressions. Ever shooting some 7mm 08. You know, it doesn't kick that much, but it seemed to slap that steel pretty hard. Yeah. I'm sure it would be a good deer rifle. But, a whole lot more 7mm 08 videos on the way. Y'all comment down below anything you want to see with the 7mm 08, and we'll try our best to do it. But, as always, appreciate y'all watching big time. A big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. Y'all go check them out and subscribe. 7mm 08, I dig it. It's another good deer rifle. Let me know what you think about it. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-doo!